this car has been a long it's come a long way even though it doesn't look like it it's come a very 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 long way and we're so close to getting it on the road my test drive went went pretty well um the back is still rubbing so we are definitely gonna have to throw the qa ones on there What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Robin. You already know what we're doing. We in a shop today. So today, what we're gonna do is we are going to roll the fenders on the Impala. Um, at least one of them. The driver's side fender, we're gonna roll. That was the only one that was like impacted underneath. Um, like the inner fender well was impacted underneath and it was messed up, so I had to cut that piece out. If you've been following my channel for a while, you already know. Um, I had to cut a piece out on the inner fender in order to make it work for the time being, but I did buy a fender roller. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the fender um, on the driver's side only, because I think that's the only side. And then the rear passenger side is the other side that I think is uh, pretty much like rubbing a little bit on like turns and bumps and stuff like that. Um, I have a different solution for the back. Um, and you'll probably see that before this video or maybe after this video, I don't know. It just depends on the timing of everything. But we are going to order up QA1 um, coilovers for the back. We'll push the rear wheel back because I already had the uh, extended control arms. That will solve my rear end issue. Um, at first, I decided that um, I was gonna roll the fenders on the back side, but there's not really much lip back there to like roll um the fenders or the the uh quarter panel or whatever wheel well whatever you want to call it is like kind of straight it's not like the front um and i'll try i'll try to get up under there and show y'all what i'm talking about but anyways man that's what we're gonna do today um go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video if you like the content go ahead and share it with a friend tell your friends about it man um because 2022 i'm trying to drop all this content for y'all um my cars will be out on the road they will be ready i don't know how long it's going to take to get ready so that's kind of like my little caveat to everything but the impala is almost road ready um the impala all i need to do is roll that fender um get the emissions and that's pretty much it and the car is on the road um, there's some other little things that I want to do, obviously, to make the car actually like really, really road ready. Like obviously the QA ones in the back, um, do the little tune up stuff that I got to do. But other than that, man, the car is good. I'm hoping to get this thing painted by ugh, early to mid summer. That's my goal because the Elko is still not painted and whatever. But actually, once the paint starts laying down and stuff like that, after the bodywork process is completely done, um, you know, it doesn't take really that long to paint a car. Um, you just go through your stages or whatever. Uh, the Impala should be a lot shorter of a paint job than the Elko was because the Elko, I kind of like, um, pretty much broke everything apart and skim coated, you know, took it down to bare metal and then polyester primer on top of that and then did another round of body work. Um, and then it's gonna go epoxy and then 2K. We're gonna do another round of body work. The El Camino was a lot of work because there was like rust in areas and whatever. But anyways, I'm getting off topic, man. Today, we're gonna just roll the fenders on the Impala. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. And then, um, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll take it on a little spin, see how it performs. Also too, I think um, I think I want to adjust my um, speed, idle speed or whatever like that. because. The car idles really, really high. Um, and it's a result of them replacing my computer because when they, before my computer, uh, my old computer, it wasn't doing that, but now it is. So I'm gonna adjust the idle speed. I don't know what's really going on with it. Um, bring the RPMs back down to where it's like normal and it's not sounding like the car's, you know, revving up. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We'll get all that done and we're one step closer to the Impala being on the road. I can cruise, drive, have fun, and enjoy the car, finally. Um, but anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, y'all, so 
this is what I picked up from Eastwood. You know what I'm saying? I get pretty much everything from Eastwood, like paint-wise, body-wise, all that kind of good stuff. This is not a paid sponsorship, not an endorsement, whatever you want to call it. I can't even open the thing, but let me just pull this out. So, um, this is pretty much what I got. And what it does is... You know, many of you may obviously know this, but it goes, attaches to the wheel um, or the, the brake rotor um, once I take the wheel off and you adjust the height um, and you roll the inner fender. So pretty much there is that much clearance between the wheel and the fender. And so pretty much um, since there's not that much clearance, oh, excuse me. Since there's not that much clearance, I can't like stick my finger in here. Um, when I hit a bump, it rubs against this. So pretty much the goal is basically push this inner fender lip back and it should give me enough clearance to uh, not have that anymore. So anyways, that is going to be our mission number one today. And then um, we'll go ahead and address the issue with the idle speed or whatever we'll try to figure that out um and i kind of cleaned it up in here um on top of the air cleaner again i did that before it went to paint um and then it got dusty but now i cleaned it again i'm gonna detail the engine bay too um i'm contemplating whether i should just try to clean this up and clean that up or just replace them because when you open up the hood i want this to be like showroom quality you know what i'm saying like it just rolled off the lot um obviously it's old it's not going to be a hundred percent but i am going to go through here degrease um hit it with a little wire brush and stuff like that and just take a, a, a rag and like wipe everything down um i'm not going to spray it with any water or nothing like that just going to clean it up get all the dust and the dirt and the grime and everything um out of here i'm also contemplating whether i should do headers or not um, just because headers really refine the sound of the car, um, with just mufflers and stuff like that, it kind of sounds a little bit raspy, um, with headers, it really gives it that real good deep tone that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a specific tone on this car, but anyways, man, that's enough of me rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, put this, this car up on the jack stand and then, um, take the wheel off and then we'll go ahead and start like rolling the fenders and, uh, see what it does and then also too before we get started uh, another result of the this car getting wrecked was this little piece um, if you ever if you've ever taken your bumper off this goes inside the bumper like underneath this part it pushes up inside of there and that's how you connect the bumper to the fender I don't know if you could tell but there's a little tiny curve inside this piece so when I put this up into the um, into the bumper, I can't really align the fender really well um, because this piece is like curved or whatever. I can't get the bolt through there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this with some heat um, on, I believe this side, um, hit it with some heat and then we're gonna hammer it down and make it straight so that I can go ahead and pop it up in there. So anyways, man, that's what, that's what the uh, mission is today. We'll go ahead and try to get all of that done. And then, um, like I said, all we gotta do is just get the the um, oil, the transmission um, flushed, brake flush, power steering flush, and we're good to go. So um, let me go ahead and get started. Um, it shouldn't take too long just to do just this one. Um, I'm hoping, you know, hopefully everything goes according to plan. But, you know, we'll take the car out, we'll take it for a spin, we'll enjoy it for a second, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. Um, it's not really a whole lot of work, but, you know, it's something that needs to get done for me to be able to drive this car wherever I want to go. So, anyways, let's jump into it. All 
right, y'all. So I got it attached. Um, and I'm not gonna go uh, do a how-to video on how to use this because I really don't know. I'm just reading the instructions. Um, and I kind of got it figured out. Um, this thing is not all the way on the wheel hub or whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's supposed to be attached all the way, but unfortunately, the tool that I have didn't come with the right, um, the right lug pattern. So I was drilling these out, trying to open them up a little bit and it's just not working. My drill's dying. Um, so I just have one lug nut on there. I really only have to roll this top part because the, the front and the back are good. Like there's nothing wrong with that. So um, I have it attached and pretty much all I'm doing is like adjusting and rolling adjusting and rolling you know what i mean um so i'm gonna continue to keep doing that and then we'll see what the result is after i'm done like i said this is not a how-to on how to do this i'm just trying to get it out um and then when my drill uh probably charges or whatever i'll probably go ahead and you know drill out the thing some more because i'm gonna have to use it again i'm sure um but right now, we're just rolling it, trying to get it done, man. Uh, so I'm gonna continue to keep doing that. And then hopefully this is uh, all good to go once I'm done. And then, um, yeah, so let me keep doing that. I'll throw the wheel back on and we'll take it for a ride and see if, uh, if it works. All right, y'all. It looks like that may have worked. Um, there's a lot of space between there now um between the tire and the wheel obviously once it gets adjusted and the car comes down we'll see what happens but i tucked it all the way up in there this is the only contact point um the rest was i guess okay so we should be okay with that i'm assuming um and we're obviously gonna have to do some body work because there's a dent right here but um yeah for the most part that's good um and I think we are good to go. When you do this on a painted car, you have to heat up the paint. I didn't have to do that because the car still needs to get painted. So um, that's a benefit for not having the car painted, but we're gonna take it for a spin and hopefully it does not rub anymore. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all. So, as of right now, the car is not rubbing. It's not rubbing in the front, except when I hit a large bump. So I hit a large bump over uh, uh, a little bit a uh, while ago, and it rubbed a little bit up here. The back is still rubbing. So I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and knock out the QA ones in the back. So I'll get those ordered up. This quiet exhaust gotta go, man. It's gotta go. It's way too quiet, but um, yeah, and it's like messing up my rim too. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go with the QA ones and see what that gets me. This fender is okay. Um, I might still probably roll it out a little bit uh, once I can figure out the configuration on that. Um, once I figure out the configuration on that. Uh, fender roller we'll probably roll it out just a little bit so that it matches this side and then we'll also uh, roll this out a little bit more in the front just so it's more unison and uniform and it matches um, everything uh, because you can tell that it is a little far out right here and it's a little pushed in right here all right y'all so she back home my bad uh the video cut off on me so i wasn't able to like finish recording what i was trying to do at least but she back home in, in the driveway looking so so oh so nice um this is a, a very like 
nostalgic. I won't say nostalgic. I'll say this is a very exciting moment um, just because I've been working on this car for so long. And the reason why it hasn't been on the road for so long is because when I bought this car, I bought it with salvage. Um, I bought it salvaged. So I had to, you know, fix the issues that needed to be fixed. Like I said, just the bumper and the fenders and the lights and stuff like that. I had to take it to the uh, the highway the highway patrol to get it inspected. Um, so it took me about probably about six months to be able to do that. Um, and I was trying to get the tow truck lined up and everything like that. And that just wasn't working right. Um, and so I eventually had to tow it there myself uh, with my Tahoe. And I did that, got it inspected and everything. Um, it was all pretty much good to go, pretty solid. And then I started immediately working on everything else. Started working on the body work, started working on the suspension, getting all that stuff right because the car needed some stuff before I, I took it to emissions. I probably should have uh, taken it to emissions right away after the highway patrol, but then I got stuck digging into more and more stuff. Um, and then obviously the car went to the paint shop, sat there for a year. So the reason why I'm telling you this is just because of the simple fact that this car has been a long, it's come a long way, even though it doesn't look like it. It's come a very, very, very long way and we're so close to getting it on the road. My test drive went, went pretty well. Um, the back is still rubbing. So we are definitely gonna have to throw the QA1s on there. Um, that's not a question at this point. I could roll the back or trim the little plastic piece or whatever, but I think it is still rub on heavy bumps. So we are 100% throwing the QA1 on there. We'll be good to go there. Won't have any issues. We'll center the, uh, the rear wheel. Um, this side is good. This side rubs on braking and uh, heavy bumps still. So I'll probably still have to roll out this, this part that I was telling you about with the dent. We'll probably have to roll that out some more and play with it some more. I'll probably drill out the, the tool and make it uh, fit all the way on there so I can get like a nice, good, solid um, connection or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, also, the sway bar on this side is not hooked up. So we are probably having an issue there. Um, but eventually the whole car will be QA1. You know, I want the front QA1, the back QA1. Um, but I don't want to do the front because I still have the L code to do. Um, so once the L code is done and we can do whatever we gotta do with it, we'll go ahead and throw the QA ones on the front, and this will be full coil over um, front and back. I'm not gonna do the control arms up front um, because I don't really need it. I'm not uh, getting the QA ones just for handling and stuff like that. I really want it just for a nice smooth ride. The car rides great on these uh, coil springs, these drop springs. It's not really too crazy or nothing like that, like bouncy or, you know, whatever. Um, but as of right now, that's good. So hopefully we can throw the QA1s on this weekend. Um, and then uh, we'll take the car to one of these shops like Jiffy Lube or Les Schwab or something like that so that they can uh, do what they got to do with the, um, the oil change, the transmission flush and the power steering and all that. And then the car is good for emissions. So we'll take it to the emissions place. And then after that, you know, we'll throw the exhaust on. And then I don't think I'm going to delay in prepping this car for paint. I'm gonna strip the roof, I'm gonna strip the roof, and I'm going to strip this door uh, on this side back down. And I'm gonna start working on the bodywork. Um, even in the midst of the uh, El Camino not being painted, just because, you know, like while it's cold like this, I can still be getting stuff done. And then once I'm done painting the El Camino or epoxy in it and 2K in it, um, we can go ahead and jump on 2K in the roof and those doors on the other side because those will be bare metal. And then all the bare metal spots on this side, we can epoxy and get that done. Once that's done, we'll be good to go. Um, and then we'll be ready for uh, uh, 2K. So that's going to be the plans for the Impala. She's almost ready for the road. I said that um, I wanted to get the car uh ready by probably june july maybe it might be before that as long as i could keep my foot on in, on her neck you know what i'm saying i shouldn't say that that sounded terrible um as long as i can keep my foot on the neck of the impala you know what i'm saying uh as long as i could keep the my foot on the neck of the impala man we should be good to go man but 
um yo look at the the stance is crazy on this thing also i love these us mags man like 100 percent to me the best wheel for this car gives it like a classy luxurious like look you know what i mean and it doesn't break the bank um obviously forgiatos um depending on which forgiatos may look a little bit better uh but other than that man i don't think there's a better wheel that you can you could put on this car it just gives it that i don't know man something about these us mags the uh u111s that just you know i like it i like it a lot so anyways that's just my personal preference but anyways man um test drive like i said went well uh i got the car up to about 60 and you know it wasn't too bad it did once i did hit a few bumps it did rub a little bit but other than that um it's good when i first uh started cutting out that wheel well on the other side it was rubbing all the time like i was driving the car down the street and it was just you could just hear it rubbing but it's all good man all right grind schoolers that's gonna do it for this video i hope y'all enjoyed it got the merch on grind school um first edition of the impala um now these will probably um no longer be available once the car is together um i'm trying to decide what i want to do with it um i still gotta update the website and do some things to it but anyways man we are gonna start uh pushing the merch so stay tuned for that um if you have not done so already hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification and also share it with a friend um who might also like the content because the impala is coming together and it is about to be on the road and as long as i stay on it and on top of it this car will be done really really quickly um there's not that much that needs to be done and like i said um i'm taking it to like one of these you know service shops to do all the other stuff i'm not messing with none of the tune-up stuff um it takes too long and sometimes you run into problems um even with just rolling the fenders man i ran into a problem uh with pulling the lug nut off the lug nuts off one of the lug nuts got stuck in the the socket and i couldn't get it out so i had to do something different so that took up you know probably about 20 minutes just trying to get the lug nut out of the socket and it was just very frustrating um and then also the um the wheel roller or whatever you want to call it um or the fender roller uh those bolts the bolt pattern wasn't right to go on this car so it ended up being a lot more challenging than it had to be um you know it wasn't difficult at all just attach it to the the hub or the, the brake rotor or whatever and then just roll it and it rolls the, the fenders right away uh it was like i said man it, it just took a lot longer than it had to and it you know it's very frustrating and when we're talking about the service stuff the my, my biggest concern is the oil filter i don't want to get to the point where i get up under the car and i get stuck on trying to just pull the oil filter off because it sucks man trying to stick screwdrivers and stuff through the oil filters and smashing them up trying to turn them it sucks that happened to me on the el camino it happened to me um on the uh camaro uh not as bad as on the camaro i was able to get the wrench on there and turn it um but the drain pan bolt was not coming off so it's like, come on, man, like this shouldn't even be an issue right now. And I was using my air ratchet impact, all that kind of stuff in the drain pan bolt wasn't coming off. So I'm like, forget it. I'm done doing service stuff, man, because sometimes you run into issues. It takes way too long. And I hate being up under a car on my back trying to figure it out. And then so what should take 20 minutes, 30 minutes turns into an hour or two job. I'm done. I'm done with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if it's something major, I'm good. I'll do it, whatever. But the service stuff that I could pay somebody 30 bucks, 40, 50 bucks to do, cool, man. I'm not spending no more of my time on service stuff. Like um, brakes and stuff like that, that's a little different. Um, I'll probably do that. But as far as like, like I said, oil changes, like the transmission pan I did on this car um, or on the El Camino, I went up under there um changed the whole transmission gasket pan and it's still leaking so i don't know what is going down with that i don't know if um the uh pan is like bent or warped or something like that um 
and I don't really want to figure it out. So, like I said, I'm taking this car to get uh, service done. Um, once we throw the QA1s on there, I could actually take it today and actually take it now. Um, but I want to make sure that things are a little bit more solid before I go uh, to, to, to do that. And I want to actually commit to it. And today I can't commit to it. So um, once all that stuff is done, like I said, we'll take it to the missions, get the missions done. And then we'll go ahead and throw the exhaust on there. And then depending on how the exhaust sounds will depend on if I throw headers on here or not. The exhaust sounds good. It doesn't sound like all raspy and nasty. Then we'll go ahead and keep it the way it is. If it sounds raspy and nasty, I'll go ahead and throw uh, some headers on here. Um, I have flow masters for the car, but I think I'm gonna change that up just because uh, flow masters on LT1 motors, they kind of sound pretty bad. So um, at least the flow master 44s. So yeah, man, stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys for all the love, the support. I cannot, uh, Thank y'all enough. Y'all really uh, are showing up and showing out, especially the ones that jump in the comment section and let me know how I'm doing. I really appreciate y'all for that. Um, but anyways, man, that's gonna conclude this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It wasn't nothing difficult. It was just rolling one fender just so that I could get it to stop rubbing. Uh, it still needs a little bit more work, but um, this upcoming weekend, Hopefully we can get the whole rear end knocked out and then this car will be good to go and I can finally drive my Impala, man. It's been a very, very, very long time coming. But anyways, man, um, always remember, work hard so you can live free.